be the head and then set everything else in until it shows. I block in a very specific way. If he's coming towards me, I want to make sure I put my hands on his shoulders and I post out the rear leg. In this case, I'm right handed, I'm going to use that leg as a bottom on both. But it will feel weird if you're holding them this way and then try to flip them this way. So be mindful of that. Yes, for sure. You can't go out, I don't like to use my thumbs because they can get hung up in there and that could uh, hurt your thumbs. So I just use thumb up here. At this point, he's still coming towards me, so I have to inflect his energy right into my armpit. Everything else is the same. I'll step forward. It's okay. I don't think that's a huge uh, major point for all. It's a good thing. But they care more about how you sit your over and how you get your legs under. This is just the Adam. How you can show him, try to give him a little more
I'm back. And once I get out of the position, I can submit, things like that. But for now, we're just going to talk about being down here, which is kind of uh, psychologically troublesome for some. Yeah. If the person's really strong, let's say John was on top of you and you're a really small person and you're not comfortable with this position, you're both going to be working hard. Mm -hmm. but you're eventually going to lose the fight. So being down here, I want to make sure that I grab the head, grab the punching arm, and my feet are crossed. Over his hips, not below it. So, from here, what we're going to do is practice bringing him in. And we'll do it gently at first. My feet are already crossed over his legs, behind his back. So, what I'll do is either pluck his arms out, keep close to him, or just use my legs to pull him up. Yeah. Wrap the head again, I want to keep my head tight. Yeah. Wrap his arm. Preventing him from pulling out. Now, at this point, he'll test it a little bit. Just kind of sit up, do things like that, try to touch my face, try to punch me. I should be able to do it. Oh, right. That's the exception. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But. Okay. 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 We'll start inside the guard. We're going to come across his feet. He's going to pull me in. I'm going to use his legs. I'm going to put my hands down. I want to look away so we don't hit by accident. Right, so. 
Thing. He also has a grasp. He gives me an indicator 
Lord, I can't allow this to happen. So as he leads back, I'm going to follow. And look, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. When I do that as many times I have to, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Now, I'm pulling my elbow down. I'm pulling my elbow down. Or I'm pulling it in, but I'm folding my head over this arm as I pull this in. See? Now, up here, pull the top of the mouth, hands out, this other foot's already out. Now, so, most common mistake here is not allowing yourself to be, to follow. So, here's by myself. Boom. Okay. And if you need to ratchet, it's okay. Okay. Don't worry, I struggle with that. I struggle with that. I'm not ratcheting down at you. That's a pretty good one. I just, I don't go down enough. You don't even I'm taking it on the side. I've been doing for the past year. Are you doing this? Like two point zero. Are you doing this way? Yeah, she's doing it one way. One. Yeah. 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 yeah, I understand your concerns. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so where are we? Thank you. 